Welcome, and thank you for choosing Race A Model 452 as your radiation survey meter. This video will provide an overview of the unique features of Race A 452 and demonstrate some examples on how it can be used for different clinical applications involving ionizing radiation. Race A 452 consists of a combination of two types of survey meters, silicon diodes and a Geiger-Muller pancake probe. This instrument has two interchangeable lids to switch between different modes, such as air chroma, ambient dose equivalent, and counts, for alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. With RACE-A452, no pre-setups or corrections are required to perform survey measurements. All measurements can be stored in the instrument and can be viewed, analyzed, and documented using RACE-A View PC software. RACE-A View can be downloaded through RACE-A's online website. In addition, RACE-A452 presents an ergonomic and lightweight option to facilitate any kind of radiation survey. This design makes RACE-A452 a versatile radiation survey meter with flat energy response, along with high sensitivity and quick time response. Let's have a quick look at RACE-A model 452 and its features. The instrument is easy to handle and requires minimal effort to carry around. It contains silicon diodes and a metal grid for Geiger-Muller mode. There's two lids. The gray lid identifies the measure for air chroma. The label contains additional information regarding the ranges to perform air chroma measurements. The yellow lid identifies the measure for ambient dose equivalent. The label also contains additional information regarding the ranges to perform ambient dose measurements. Place a lid, simply align the black line from the lid with the black line in the detector and twist to lock properly. The device is now ready to use. To power on, press and hold the center button. The device will take around 5 seconds to initialize. The main screen is composed of several sections. At the top, you will see the current audio and light setup and battery life. The remaining of the screen is also composed of several rows. The first row represents the radiation intensity, second row the accumulated dose, third row radiation mean energy, and fourth row is the highest intensity recorded. To change the screen light settings, press the upper arrow button and select the brightness desired. Press the upper arrow again to change the auto settings. Units are changed by pressing once again the upper arrow. Select the unit that better suits your radiation measurement. A radiation limit can be selected for your measurement by going into alarm settings. Raise a 452 device information can be accessed through this screen. The final row shows the calibration date. To store a measurement, press the center button. The device records a log of the dose rate or count rate with a 1 second resolution from power on to power off. If you want to define the beginning of a new measurement, press the center button. The readings on the screen are also stored. An arrow button will appear in the bottom to access the stored measurements while power on. Measurements are assorted in chronological order. If you want to view all measurements, use RACE-A452 view software. To use the detector in Geiger-Muller mode, no lid is required. The units to Geiger-Muller mode are automatically changed by the system. No pre-setup is required. To perform ambient dose measurements, just place the yellow lid into the detector and start collecting your measurements. The device will automatically change its units. To power up the device, just press and hold the center button. RACE-A452 can be recharged using a USB connection. The same USB port can be used to plug in a USB cable to access all your recorded data. 
Always store the device with a lid on to protect the Geiger Mueller metal grid. The device can now be safely stored. RaySafe 452 technology allows this 2-in-1 survey meter to be used in different clinical applications. Through this video, we will demonstrate how RaySafe 452 can be used to perform different radiation survey measurements, such as Linear Accelerator Primary Barrier Survey, LDR Iodine 125 Seat Survey, HDR Survey, Patient Release Survey, Room Survey, and CT Room Secondary Barrier Survey. For this demonstration, the linear accelerator was set up to worst-case condition by irradiating the primary barrier with the highest energy at the highest dose. The primary barrier survey was performed at the other side of the wall while the beam was on. To perform a primary barrier survey for a linear accelerator, first use the RaySafe 452 in Gargamuller mode and search for any hotspots in the wall. Once a hotspot has been detected, change from counts to exposure mode by placing the grate lid into the survey meter. No setup to change from one mode to another is needed with RaySafe 452. Rescan the area where the hotspot was located and perform your exposure measurement. Remember that your measurements can be saved in the detector and can be further analyzed with RaySafe View PC software. Our second demonstration consists of performing an LDR iodine 125 seat survey as part of our record inventory. The results are compared to an ion chamber into the RaySafe 452 survey meter in exposure mode. We will now demonstrate how RaySafe 452 survey meter can be used for bracket therapy applications by performing a room survey and an Iridium 192 source survey. HDR rooms and barriers can be surveyed to collect exposure measurements. RaySafe 452 has multiple applications in nuclear medicine. For this demonstration, we will show how this versatile survey meter can be used for patient release surveys and room surveys. To perform a patient release survey, change the RaySafe 452 into exposure mode by placing the grate lid into the instrument. After a few seconds, you're ready to start collecting measurements. Stand one meter away from the patient and place the effective point of measurement towards the patient. The patient meets the limit criteria and he's ready to be released. To perform a room survey, just take out the lid and use the detector in Geiger Miller mode. Perform the survey and identify the area of contamination. Remember that the radiation limits and audio can be modified in the device settings. Our final demonstration consists of performing a CT room secondary barrier survey using RaySafe 452 as a radiation survey meter. For more information regarding RaySafe 452, please visit RaySafe's website. In the website, you will be able to find manuals, demos, and additional information regarding RaySafe 452 and its applications. Thank you for choosing RaySafe 452, one device and less possibilities.